Hey there, and thanks for tuning in to the It's All Good Mining Company channel. And I'm Brian. Right here before me, what I've got is my quiet, cool AFG Pro 2.0 Pro Attic Gable Fan. This thing's a 16 inch fan, and let me see if it shows it up here. Runs at uh, 800 or 108 watts on high. This thing puts out, it's supposed to put out like uh, 1900 CFM on high and on low speed like 1400 watts so what I plan to do is put that in here make that fit I'm gonna save you the hassle of, of watching me do the all the work but I am gonna to try to take a few pieces along the way so we see the challenges I come up with and so forth let's get into it okay so I unboxed it and hopefully I don't know that we can actually see it good in the video but Here's the problem. My hand, see, so here we go. See the problem? This is actually higher than this. Let's see if I turn it around. See, that's my problem. I've got more fan than I've got box. So, what I'm gonna do, let me see, pick this bad boy up. My plan is to take this section of plywood out make a little bit of a, of a riser and then I'll be able to improve the forced air on the input side of my of my tent alright so I'm making a little bit of progress here a um, couple of things if I raise the if I raise the back deck up by 2x4 then I can get the fan in there but I also noticed so this right here was this there was a little trough right here and you can see over here where I had I tried to make a like a filter holder holder well I'm gonna go ahead and move the filter to the outside of the garage and that's also going to man it's also going to get this 2 by 4 out of the way here which is going to remove some of my air blockage so let me dive in I got a handy dandy ball peen hammer let me knock that out. Let me see if I can get this airflow opened up just a little bit more. Okay, so I did a little bit of like re-engineering my plan here. And what I got, I will tell you that I got it spinning on the low right now. And uh, tell you what, you stick your fingers off in there, and they will take your it will take your fingers off. So I am definitely going to need to put a safety guard there just to keep myself from being stupid but what I had to do and I want to bring this up is I had to rewire this because the way it was originally this black wire here was connected to this black wire here don't touch this stuff it is actually live right now the black wire here coming out of the MCT that is the high line um, or the high speed fan and the red is the low speed fan so I moved it from the 1900 CFM down to the 1400 CFM that way it keeps it a little bit more in line with what uh, my exhaust fans are because my ultimate goal is to have this as a as a uh, equal pressure uh, between the intake and the, and the exhaust so let me, uh, I will uh, pop up an actual diagram from the install guide here in just a second. Okay, so I wanted to cut in here like I said I would. If you look over here, the figure 3.2A, th um, this is how to wire up. So you got your power source, which the nice thing about this is it does come with a regular three wire uh, wall plug. So you can plug this fan straight into the wall. That's what I did for now. Uh, and you've got three wires coming out of it. It shows a brown, uh, a black and a, uh, and a white. Uh, now, they show all of this going into a, a junction box and then coming out of the junction box and going to to the thermostat but in reality as you saw just now the the box and all is all it's it's all together so what i did the way it comes wired from the factory is this black wire here 
uh, up in figure 3.2a that's the high that's the high voltage what I did is I moved from the black I just I found that black wire coming out of the MCT that's that metal uh, housing uh, cable so I pulled the black off I had disconnected it and I just I connected it back to the red I'll uh, I'll put a link into the to this PDF so you can look through the, all the install uh, section but I wanted to help point this out this is on page 8 of the install guide All right, so if you've ever watched a red panda mining video, you know how he just snaps his finger and poof, it's done. Well, here you go. So what I did, I uh, see the fans mounted in there. I got it uh, screwed tight here. I'm gonna leave this unscrewed for the time being, um, but go ahead and drop it down. If I want to get in and, and change the uh, Fan speed, I can. Right now, it is 82.6 is my air intake. And on the hot side of my tent is 83.6. So that's almost what I want to see. My goal is, is uh, 10 degrees. So we're a little bit hotter than that, but uh, that'll work. Let me open this up here. So as you can see, there is a fan blowing. Obviously, I could stick my finger in there and lose my finger real quick, so uh, I don't want to do that. All right, so that in a nutshell is it. Um, I'm using the Quiet Cool series fans. Uh, Quiet Cool is the brand, and uh, this was the AFG. Uh, Pro 2.0. Now they make this in a number of different uh, systems. Okay, I don't know what I did there. All right, so they make this in a number of systems, and uh, like I said, this is the whoa, this is the AFG Pro 2.0. Now I bring this up because they've got a they've got a couple of other different models. Yeah, here we go. So they got a Pro 3 series um, that uses more energy. It also uses more or it, it uh, has a higher fan speed. So depending on your needs, the AFG Smart Pro 3.0 may be more useful because um, it has a range of 2000 to 2860. Um, and then they've also got the SMT ES 3.0, which has 1343 to 2830. For me, especially for the price, this was the this is the fan that works the best. Now, my plan actually in my future mining uh, room, which I plan to, to try to get 24 rigs in, I'm going to use m multiples of these. I was really impressed with the uh, how quiet they are. Uh, one of my concerns was if I had five of these on the exhaust side uh, blowing outside of my house, that my neighbor might complain. Honestly, the way I plan to put them up in my attic, I don't even think they'll notice, except for the hot air blowing down off of off of my uh, gable onto their driveway. Yeah, maybe they'll just think uh, in the summertime. Maybe they'll just think it's hotter. Uh, but it is nice if you do need more capacity. You can step up to these uh, Pro Threes. The thing about the Pro Threes is they start introducing uh, smartphone support. Just drives the price up. Uh, let's go see what we got here. Uh, yeah, so this is 179 uh, for 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 the smart one. Now you like you do get the more speed though, but 179 for for that. If you want the same fan that I just used uh, with the smart application, you can get that for 159, or you can go back and get this one for 119. So for me, the 119, I didn't need it to be smart. I will put a link down uh, in the description for this fan if you want to get it. Um, the link will be an affiliate link. It doesn't cost you any more, uh, but it does help the channel. and uh, helps me out uh, in all of this research. So search for it yourself if you want to avoid the, the link or just click on the link below and order one or two of these fans if it's going to meet your needs. 
All right, that's it for now. Be sure if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to get new content. I'm working on some great ideas for upcoming videos, one of which is how to use two different internet connections uh, and have redundant firewalls because last week I lost several days worth of mining as I had internet connections bouncing up and down and I didn't have that all in place. So I'll be happy to cover that if that's something you guys are interested in. If you've got other ideas for video suggestions, please put them down in the comment and I will try to get to them. Thanks a lot.